I already created a bunch of groups. First, there are three for the columns. And, then three for the colors. Green. Yellow. And red. Now, we need a color preset. Let's take the green colors, and store them. Then, the yellow ones. Again store, but we use the merge mode. The same for the red colors. In the sequence window, we set the option to display recipe lines. It is under mask. The next step is building three sequences. Then we create the first sequence and use the swipey to edit it. We close this window and select the sequence. Now, in the sequence window we click into the first recipe line and choose our first column group. Then we assign a dimmer of full and set a delay. The delay of one second will spread out the effect and not all the fixture will be on at once. Now only the color information is missing. We need a second recipe line and set group and color preset. Then we assign the sequence to a fader. A master fader starts the effect, but after the delay is over, it only adjusts intensities. Therefore, we set the fader mode to temp, what allows us to adjust the effect stepwise. Now, extend and speed is adjustable. We copy the sequence and set the correct column group in each. Also, we create faders and test it. The next step is to get sound control. We open the sound window and select the source. Sometimes it is difficult to route the onboard sound. I will use the microphone here. We can change the display to columns. The fader on the right side controls how fast the system reacts to changes. You will want to play around with that. You may know that we can control dimmers by sound. So, the next step is to patch three dimmers. We select generic and dimmer. We give it a name. It shall be three of them. Then we assign a high FID, let's say 10,001. And we patch it to a universe that will not be part of the DMX output. Here 1000.1. .1. I already have two macros, that assign sound channels to the dimmer, that means it activates sound to light. And another macro to stop the sound control. In the fixture sheet, you can see how the dimmers already react to the music. This can also be seen in the DMX window. We set the starting address to our 1000 universe. And, you see the output. How can we use this DMX output to trigger our sequence by virtual temp faders? I found a solution in an older MA2 video made by Fight Schmidt at fights.d. We go to the in and out menu and select DMX remote. 
we create a new DMX remote with the address of our first sound dimmer. We link this to sequence 1 and select temp as the fader mode. Let's see if it works. I bring the fader down and when I tap on the laptop body, you see the fader and light is remotely controlled. Now the same for the other two channels. I just copy and paste the first remote and adjust the DMX addresses and the sequences. I am not yet happy with the response to the not so loud parts. This can be adjusted by dimmer or DMX curves. Select the patch menu and their DMX curves. We create a new curve of type custom. Clicking on the plus sign inserts a new handle, that we can drag to modify the curve. We rename the new curve. In order to assign this curve to our dimmer, we go to the parameter list menu. We scroll down to find our sound dimmers, and assign the curve. Yes, that's it. I hope you find some useful inspiration from that.